What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Can you guys see me? Let's see, I'm trying to have this thing focused. Sorry, I'm dealing with like natural elements today. <laughs> it's been uh, quite some time since I've uh, gone live. Uh, but thank you. Good morning. Uh, welcome, everybody. This is my backyard. And What's going this, on, everybody? Uh, as you can see, hold on. Can you guys see me? Let's see, I'm trying to have it. All right, there we go. All right, yeah, so I'm having a, let's see, so if I get close to this camera, uh, you can kind of see me. But uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm dealing with right now. It's just when I get too close, kind of like darks out on me. So yeah, but uh, I'll fix that next, next live stream. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, just say thank you to everybody. Thank you for joining today's live stream. Uh, who do we got? I see uh, cooking with CJ. We got a, what's up, brother? Good morning. We got Terry. Good morning, Terry. Uh, I see AB's name in there. Good morning, AB. Um, shout out to AB, man. We had a lot of fun in Texas. Uh, a lot actually has gone on uh, in the past several months. It's been probably six months since I've gone live. But yeah, it's, uh, I'm going to start getting into it. We got Mike64. Good morning. Uh, Leprechaun TV. Good morning, Lep. And uh, Hino's Barbecue. Good morning, Hino. Uh, who else? Let's see. Well, I'm away from my computer. But uh, as the names come up, uh, I'll, I'll shout you out. Yeah, things things have been uh, pretty crazy for the past several months. Uh, you know, I've just been working on, on videos and, and you know, get everything going, you know, on my channel and stuff, trying to get my channel moving. But uh, just so far, I've just been having fun. Uh, as you can see, it's a nice, beautiful day. Let me show you guys. I got a little wind. You know, out here in Southern California, we got my trees growing green, looking beautiful, fresh cut grass. Still trying to get that little patch over there, you know, uh, that way. Yeah, right there. Trying to get that all fill the, fill the grass. But uh, other than that, just living it. So uh, what we're doing today, Brenda Short. Good morning, Brenda. Hallerita, good morning. Let's see, who else do we got up in here? So far, no, no new names yet. So yeah, uh, we went Texas. Texas was pretty big. Uh, everybody's putting their their videos out. I'm uh, uh my little meetup with uh, T Roy Cooks and uh, Chef Johnny and James from MM Claimo, Bill from Chicken uh, Fried Barbecue. Uh, I got to meet up uh, with um, Brad from uh, Bearded Texas Adventures and uh, Rick from uh, Rick's Blackstone. And barbecue so uh, hey good morning Kevin so uh, yeah it's just it was a, it was a fun time and I want to say thank you to AB because uh, he, he invited me out there and you know took me in, uh, not only to there but he also took me to uh, uh, we went to Franklin's and that, that, was, that was awesome if you haven't watched that video you guys really need to check that video out uh, it's, it's, I've already posted the, the Franklin's video it was really really good Brendan Short uh, Grilled food yesterday. It was delicious. Nice. What you What you guys cook up, Brenda? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of cooking on the grill lately. What's going on, Kevin? Oh, you know what? And then also too, that's probably another reason why I haven't been live. Um, the Battle of the Kitchens. That's That's what I've been on. Uh, we just wrapped up um, season one. Uh, okay, Halorita. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Uh, yeah, we just wrapped up uh, season one of Battle of the Kitchens, and I, I want to say actually, you know what? Is Kenton here yet? Because I already told him. I told him directly. I told him I think uh, Kevin's dish would look better. <laughs> but all, all jokes aside, whatever. Um, you know, congratulations to Kent, and uh, good job, Kevin. Uh, you guys did an excellent job. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to be there. It was, you know, the, the day was wrong, and you know, I couldn't make it. I had to be with the family and everything. So. But yeah, that was that was an epic season, and you know I appreciate everybody that showed up on the on the show. You guys made it a blast. You know I, I didn't get to say that you know at the end, but uh, everybody that con contested you know competed in the contest, you guys did an all an awesome job, and I could just expect better for season two. So yeah, uh, when I stop doing these live streams, you know later on in, in the year it, it's gonna be because we're doing Battle of the Kitchen. So. Yeah, just you know, just keep note for that. Let me fix my camera. So, yeah, I, I, you know, Battle of the Kitchens was pretty nice. And if, and if you guys want to get on Battle of the Kitchens, uh, contact me. 
through email or, or smoking or grilling with AB. It's probably better if you call, you know, contact AB because uh, I get enough as it is. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Text guy 39. Good morning. Welcome to the live stream. Let me see. We grow baby back ribs. Nice. You know, I got some ribs coming up to it pretty soon. I got some beef ribs and some uh, pork ribs. The pork ribs I still got to, um, uh, you know, make up. But uh, let's see. What else do we see? So, yeah. Uh, so, what we're doing today. Well, obviously, I don't know if... Uh, I haven't really put out, you know, too much information uh, regarding, uh, you know, my diet and everything. I started the keto diet. This is my second week going on my third week so yeah i'm gonna you know be a little easy on the car today good morning rob d what's up brother good morning so yeah this feels weird um you know it's been a while but uh we'll get to it so uh let's see oh yeah the signature mug <laughs> Just want to, you know, give everybody a shout out before I uh, start cooking, you know, because that kind of takes, you know, my attention off of you guys. So I got a big screen, so if I'm looking this way, I'm looking at the screen, so I would get you guys comments. So uh, got pickles in the house. Good morning, pickles. What else we got up in here? All right, just check. All right, so looks like I got everybody. You know, again, I just want to thank everybody. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up my Blackstone. Let's see, we got the Magic View right here. Woo! All right, let's see. Mix the tanks on. So what I'm making today, I don't know. I've been debating on what I'm gonna make. I actually thought about it all week, and uh, <laughs> I couldn't think of nothing, nothing, nothing special. I mean, I used to do cooking, you know, breakfast in the morning on Saturdays. So I really didn't know what to do i was thinking like breakfast burritos i was thinking i don't know uh quesadillas so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just do a variety cook and i'm gonna do freestyle that's like the best that i like to have fun with is you know freestyling you know my cook and which i do quite often so mike chavez good morning mike chavez are you going to do side dishes uh brenda actually i have a couple side dishes um already like potato salad macaroni salad I got some baked beans that I'm gonna be working on now now keep in mind just because I'm on the keto diet doesn't mean I'm gonna be uh, eating this I can still cook it I have some wonderful recipes for like you know other things that are not keto but uh, yeah I'll, I'll still be putting out regular recipes um, on my uh, on my uh, channel so uh, yeah I got some like baked beans um, you know like barbecue baked beans uh, when it comes to like sides Mostly it's like in the kitchen stuff, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll work on some stuff like, you know, mainly for barbecue, but I do got like a potato salad. Uh, but yeah, the one thing I do have coming up is that Boston, uh, Boston baked beans, Boston. Why do I keep saying Boston? <laughs> barbecue baked beans. So, we see, yeah, do we have Kent? Yes, Kent. Good morning, Kent. Yeah, you guys, uh, you know, all of my moderators, um, if, if you're not familiar with their channel, please check out their channel. Uh, they're, they're, they're some awesome channels. They do some really, really great work. Uh, congratulations to Kent Daddy Dutch Barbecue. He's the champion of Battle of the Kitchens. Even though I told him that uh, Kent's dish was better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hey, congratulations, man. Let's see, it's laggy for me too, Ray Chris. Is it lagging on me or? Huh. All right, let me, let me see. I right, hear you know what I can put the buffering on. Let's see. Let's see. I think it takes a minute for it to kick in though. Let's see. Is it gonna help? No, yes, no. But the video is laggy, okay. Yeah, I still see it choppy. 
Okay, let me fix this. Thing. Alright, well, I guess I'll work on that the next time. But, uh, let me see what too. Okay, fruit salad's alright. Uh, I'll, I'll check into that issue later. Um, I am outside, my router is inside. So we'll, we'll just uh, have to wing it. Hopefully it can uh, fix itself. But I did close up the, uh, the, the stream. So all I got is the chat. Uh, usually I could be able to do this, but uh, like I said, it's been a while. And plus, this is a different, completely different computer. Uh, the, the computer I used to use back in the day was my work computer. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. <laughs> but uh, this is a personal computer. This is a computer I bought my wife. Same specs and everything. But yeah, I'm not going to get into nonsense. So, Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin. Cheers, everybody. Alright, so let's get on the cook. Let me see. I see somebody else here. Raiders receiver. Good morning. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit, well, a good amount of uh, some breakfast sausage. Let's see, is my thing on? Yeah, it's on. Uh, let's turn up the heat then. I oh, got rain, huh, Lep? Alright, so we're gonna add some, some breakfast sauces to this. You know what? I'm, I'm just acting like a noob here. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got salt and pepper, we got black pepper, yeah, black pepper, and water. I'm not gonna be melting any cheese today, so we might. We might. Cheese is always good. Alright, so as my blackstone gets the temp, we're gonna start cooking the sausage up. So, I'm just basically gonna make a scramble. I'm gonna just do something with that scramble. I don't know what, I'm just, whatever comes to mind, but uh, kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna eat. So that'll be like the big finale at the end. So yeah, let's see what we got. Okay, so I got everybody to see. So yeah, um, yeah. So what's new with everybody? I mean, I've been trying to keep up on everybody. Uh, Smoking Joe. Hey, what's going on, Joe? Good morning, brother. <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, I've been trying to keep up on everybody. It's just life's too busy, you know. But uh, I got my list of peeps that I be getting at. I got a playlist where I check them out. Oh, well, I got a I got a new smoker also. I I haven't showed it on my channel yet, but uh, it's actually coming pretty soon. I I uh, I got a video coming out. Um, I get some beef ribs. Uh, my next cook on it is uh, some pork butt, and uh, <clears throat> I'm thinking between I'm, I, I have a, a brisket plan for it, but it's it's an inexpensive smoker. You know, it was like 170 bucks that I paid for it, but it does very very good though. Ribs, something like four hour cook, excellent. Like five hour tops, like it, it's a good it's a good smoker. But I'm gonna push it to its limits, and I'm gonna try to get a 12 to 14 hour cook on it now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it in a brisket and uh, I'm gonna wake up at like 2 in the morning and I'm gonna just start recording you know get everything going and uh, I'm gonna do it I don't care if it comes out bad I don't care if it comes out you know if it comes out good whatever I mean yeah if it comes out good it's gonna be awesome but uh, yeah um, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be an experiment but everybody will be able to see it regardless of how the cook comes out so yeah, I have kind of an idea how, how I can achieve it, but yeah, well, well, well my main thing is is that smoke, the smoke box gets uh, full of just ash. Yeah, to like after like the sixth hour, five, six hour, like it's, it's got a lot of ash and it's not allowing the air to, you know, properly, you know, go. So what I'm thinking about is just dumping it out, let that, that fire burn, you know, down, but keep the box closed, you know, the, the, the barrel closed. 
and then uh, empty out the charcoal and then just put some fresh ones just start from scratch. So at least give me another five and a half to six hours. So yeah, the char griller, the char griller pickles. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm planning on doing. Hopefully it works out. But like I said, if it doesn't, then, you know, at least whoever wants to buy that smoker, at least they, they have an, like a true honest opinion about it. But yeah, I'm gonna try it. Bacon wrap pancakes. That's something Rob would make. Break down this sausage. Save all of it. Let's see. Man, let me fix that. Ah, don't worry about it. Rack of ribs on the Blackstone. <laughs> hey, Lef, I like I like your thinking when it comes to that, dude. I mean, yeah. All right, CJ. Hey, thank you for stopping in, man. You have a good morning, uh, good good Sunday. And uh, and everybody have a happy and safe Memorial Day. You know those that are you know taking off. Uh, but CJ, hey, you have a good one, brother. Ben Frank, how's it going, brother? <laughs> over ship uh, well I think the food the food would be cold if I shipped it overnight brother hey good morning dog welcome so what's your guys' plans put in the chat what your guys' plans are tomorrow's my baby girl's birthday uh, so we got it's, no it's not memorial weekend no yeah so I'm a week ahead so actually tomorrow's my baby girl's birthday I don't know what tomorrow is yeah my baby girl's birthday that's all I know All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here to the side. How you guys can still see it in the camera. Let's see, bacon. My favorite bacon. That uh, Hormel's Black Label. This one's just a thin cut. My wife got the wrong one. But I'm in love with the cherry smokes. Hormel uh, Black Label. That stuff is really, really good. Thank you, uh, thank you, man. All right, so this is just the thick cut, the hard, the smoke. I think, believe this is hickory. So we're gonna go ahead and just add this, let this crisp up. Smells good. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, now that I added that bacon, it just changes up the game. Let me put this over here. For this part, it's pretty much simple. Like I said, this is just going to be a basic. I'm just throwing stuff together. <laughs> well, that's like that's like the best thing about having a black zone. You can just do you can do so much actually. There's more stuff I can do to this. You know, add in here. But, uh, you know, I'm just kind of like taking my time on the cook, you know, so that way, that way it's not all thrown together. I got some wind coming in. Yeah, we want these, uh, since, since I'm going to be, I'm going to be hitting these with some scrambled, scrambled eggs. I want this sausage to be nice and just, you know, little pieces. That way when I mix in the egg, I'll be able to, you know, distribute it evenly. So... Let's see. Uh, thank you, Ben. Hey, but you know what? General Tull's pretty good, though. That stuff's good. Uh, what type of marinade do you, you season your meat? Uh, it, it depends, Brenda. Um, depends exactly what, yeah, like, I seasoning-wise, like, rubs, uh, for the past, like, 10 years I haven't really bought a rub until recently I barely started buying like you know rubs to try them out and you know different I tried some uh, heavy made products um, I got some uh, sweet smoking joes what we got here oh got a new subscriber holla holla welcome look at all oh, that's my uh, chat box chat box right there 
uh, every time I get a subscriber or whatever, you're gonna see a little dent on that donut. So donations, uh, super chat, and all that stuff to, takes like a little dent out of the, uh, the donut. Uh, but uh, back to what I was talking about, marinades. Um, I I actually don't buy many many, many seasonings because I've always made my own. But I've been I've been messing around, you know, tasting other people's stuff. But uh, I make everything from scratch. So I mean, marinades, you know, wet marinades or dry rubs. I usually do it from scratch. And if I do make a recipe that calls, you know, that I that I make for it, you know, I usually say it in the recipe. So let's see. Bar Rescue. <laughs> I love that show. Hey, Bar Rescue is one of my uh, one of my favorite shows. Next to like. Uh, I used to work in the restaurant business like way, way back in the day before I, you know, finished college and everything. Good morning, Audrey. Welcome to my Sunday live stream. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be meeting Audrey pretty soon. Um, yeah, they're, they're, her and her husband are coming down to a buddy of mine that lives here locally. He's, he's moving to, I believe, Illinois. And yeah, he, or I don't know where he's going. He's leaving. That's all I know. But uh, yeah, they're gonna be coming down, picking him up, and. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get to meet uh, Chad from Wilkins Outdoor Adventures and uh, Jacob from Chaos Paddlers. I'm hoping Fishing Grubs comes up. That'd be awesome if, if Grubs would be able to go in there. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be an awesome time. I'm gonna you know do some cooking for him. Hey, good morning, John. Good morning, John. 1984 barbecue. You know, I should probably add you. I'll do it. I'll do it later. I'm, I'm kind of my address as moderator. I meant to do that. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these off because I'm only gonna use this side for the rest of the cook. Yeah, John, I, was, I meant to add you as a moderator, but uh, I'll do it when I get get back in after the after the live. Break in a new grill. What kind of what kind of new grill did you get, uh, TX guy? better crisp on this uh, bacon since I'm not gonna let it you know dry out basically you know air dry I need to get as much crisp as I can to it making you hungry huh <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm working on I don't know how I should do it I, I actually recorded a, a lot of myself I mean I recorded others uh, for the Texas meetup because when I did my portion, I, I, you know, I did some beef ribs and it was like really, really long. So I still need to work on that video. Uh, you know, I really want to show uh, Chef Johnny and every my time there in Texas and the Texas welcoming. It was awesome, you know. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'll probably just make it short and I'll just probably cut out the whole part that I, you know, did some ribs and it'll just show some of the, you know, the good time that we had. I think that's probably more important that you know, just showing the time that we had, you know, just an awesome, you know. Uh, Texas welcome welcoming and you know what T-Roy cooks he's literally exactly how he is on videos you meet him in real life he's exactly like how he is right there it was, it was an honor to meet all of those guys and I just appreciate AB you know getting me and getting my butt over there to Texas and uh, making it happen let me see what do we got let's see I heard my name I see my name in there hey Rip good morning Rip hey good morning brother let's see Jones Let's see, my hubby uses Memphis barbecue rub, Texas boneyard seasonings. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I mean, rubs are pretty much simple. I mean, they all have the same ingredients, just one is a little different here and there. Um, I kind of like make mine. I, t I, I used to make the, the traditional barbecue seasoning, but now I, lately what I've been doing 
is I've been adding a lot of inf like influence of I, I guess you could say Mexico I live in Southern California so uh, I have a lot of influences of you know from Mexico you know we have a lot of chilies we have you know a bunch of seasonings you know and so that's that's how I make my rubs nowadays you know I do plant I'm actually working on putting out a rub uh, a rub line uh, it's called the California dream uh, so yeah I got right now my my pork and chicken is done that that is fantastic but I'm just waiting on a couple pieces of paperwork to get final and uh, I'll be actually uh, uh, putting those live uh, cooking with Kirby .com, that's my new website that's something I've been working on and uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just taking it step by step. So uh, see what happens. You know, the, the seasonings I've been working on for quite some time. I want to say the pork and chicken. I've been trying to develop that for probably eight years. I've gone through many different versions of it, and uh, I have to say that it's been pretty good. You know, uh, it, I I guess I could consider it. I used to make it where it was like an all-purpose rub, but really, actually, now that I break it down, it's uh, you know, and thought about it. It's a perfect chicken and pork rub, but I got a beef one coming out. I got an all-purpose seasoning that I'm working on, and then uh, you know I'm from I'm from California, so I gotta have something zesty. So yeah, those are the things I'm working on. I want to have at least five seasonings, so and they're not gonna be like super expensive either. Just something, just something you know, you know, something that you can pick up at the store. So let's see. I see my name there. Let's see, Ripping Lips. Good morning, Ripping Lips. Uh, let's see. Travis Gustave. Hey, good morning, Travis. No man, just uh, Travis just making some breakfast. Got some bacon and sausage on the on the on the blackstone. Alright, this this bacon is looking like where we want it at. Let's go ahead and make, marry these two. Now So, I got about eight eggs up in here. I'm not gonna be able to see, show you, but so. <laughs> that's what we're doing. We're gonna go ahead and just give these a mix. Hey, you know, it's so much easier looking at this TV uh, for chat, you know, compared to my back in my old day stream. Now this camera is like a little wonky, so I just gotta get like closer. That's something like back and forth, back and forth. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna work on that. Probably, I was thinking of putting a board right here in the back. I don't know, I'll figure something out. So I got some eggs. This is pretty much done. Actually, nope. Hold on. Got a season with salt and pepper. This is a black Himalayan salt. Black. Yeah, it says pink, but it's actually I filled it up with black. So go ahead and add a little bit of that. Okay, time for new uh, shakers. <laughs> And some black pepper. All right, let's give this a good old mix in. That good old egg whip. <laughs> or actually, here. Actually, no. Yeah. Get rid of that. Let's do this. All right, so if you have an uneven black stone, this is what you got to be careful with. Just barely throw on your egg, let it drop in there, let it soak. If you can, if you are lucky enough to have a super even black stone, that would be a lot. You know, just you just pour it in there and just mix it all together. But yeah, you gotta kind of add it little by little. Because if not, I think it would run. I guess it must go this way. So now I'm on a slope. My, my patio goes like at an angle. So. A little bit 
some more egg for that. All right, so let's let this cook up. Now I also have a little surprise for you guys to add to this. Got some fresh salsa. Salsa is like a must in my opinion. I, I make a uh, part of Cali do you reside. I live, oh okay, well I'm, Travis, I'm south from you Travis. Uh, I'm about four and a half hours, four hours away from, from LA. Uh, I'm, I'm about 45 minutes away from the Yuma and California border. So uh, if you, maybe a lot of people are familiar with the uh, El Centro. Um, but yeah, I live close to Mexicali. So, uh, well, yeah, I'm like 45 minutes away from uh, uh, Mexico. 30 minutes from Mexico. How do I maintenance my grills? Uh, just clean them, really. Um, uh, Blackstone's very simple. This one, uh, very easy to do. I mean, I give it just a scrape. I have a video on how to clean it. But like my, my grill grills, you know, I took a, I have a garden, a little hand garden shovel. I, I, uh, I use that to, you know, scrape out all the, you know, the milk, all the stuff that just gets all gunky up in there and everything. Um, okay, so you know where I'm at, Travis, uh, for the three bases over there in Yuma, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, um, just, you know, I give them like a nice scrub, hot water, no soap, just hot water. You can use soap though, um, depending on what kind of grill you have. Um, but just make sure that before you, you know, put it away, you make sure you let it dry all the way. Um, my propane uh, grill, that one, I go to town on that. I, on that one, I bring, when it needs a deep cleaning, I, I, I bring out everything, oven cleaner, all that stuff. So I'm letting things soak and, you know, give it a good cleaning. Is uh, Tom in here? Let's see, I, let's see, I've seen Tom Horsons. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just did a clean review. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Shout out to Tom. Hey, Tom, you know, there's a, there's a lot of people that have been doing really, really good. Tom Horseman is one of them. Cooking with James. Uh, Cooking with James, is, his videos have uh, been really, really good. You know, his camera. Yeah, I think ever since he got that camera, it's just kind of put like a little, little oomph on his videos. So, yeah, he's doing really good. Uh, there's a lot of people that are killing it. Uh, Eric, good morning. How's it going? Welcome to the live stream. <laughs> Alright, these are done. I should probably bring... Alright, now to assemble. What are we on time? I haven't even paid attention. Alright, let's go ahead and put this low. Be right back. Sorry, y'all. We're getting stuff over here. Hey, Kenneth. Hey, you know what? Congratulations to Kenneth from What's New Barbecue. He is doing an excellent job on building a community, the North Texas Barbecue Addicts. That group is taking off. You know, if, if you don't know uh, Kenneth's channel, What's New Barbecue, you should really check him out and check out his second channel that he's working on. Um, they're doing really, really well. I've been really eyeing his group for the past several weeks and they are doing a great job over there. And, uh, you know, hey, Kenneth, uh, congrats on building a, a community. Just keep it up, brother. All right, so I'm gonna just remove this. I don't wanna get all charred up on me. Even though my dad would probably love some charred bacon and eggs. <laughs> all right, let's see, let's give this a taste. Tastes just like bacon, egg, and sausage. All right, what are we doing? So for my portion, 
I'm on the keto diet. I do got some uh, corn tortillas that uh, that I'm gonna be giving to my kids. You know, they're not on the diet, either, you know, so I gotta I gotta respect their uh, eating habits. So I'm gonna make a little something for me. Yeah, thank you. Hey, thank you, Kenneth. Uh, I was the uh, weekend warrior. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically, you know, I did some ribs and I posted it to the group, and uh, yeah, they they chose me for the weekend warrior, which was as an honor. Thank you, man. That was awesome. All right, so I'm gonna just clean up this grill this side a little bit. So I have. It's been. Let me see, like three, two and a half weeks. Yeah, two and a half weeks. I haven't had any bread, no tortilla, and that is very, very hard for me. No tortilla. So uh, I'm gonna improvise. So I got some cheese here. Some mus. Wait, right, this is Monterey Jack cheese right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put. Put the camera over here. There we go. Now, mind me, just because I'm on a diet doesn't mean I need my fat. I don't need my fat pants. I got my fat pants. <laughs> They're on. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a second one. And catch up on some comments. Uh... Oh yeah, and if you, if you guys haven't seen, uh, I just recently put out a tri-tip video. That is my that is my go-to tri-tip recipe. So if you like tri-tip and you want a really good recipe, uh, check out check out the one that I recently just dropped. Um, the only, I do if I do anything different to it. The only thing is, is I would add chili powder, oregano, and cumin into my dry rub. Uh, that that would be the only difference if if I were to change it up. Uh, sometimes I add lemon pepper, but for the most part, that's like the best base. And you can't go wrong with that. Uh, you can't go wrong with that wet marinade. That wet marinade for that tri tip is very very delicious. You know, and just cook it up. You know, I, I basically just let it marinate for like two to three days in the fridge and then uh, in, in with some Worcestershire sauce and uh, some garlic powder and onion powder, you know, because I don't want it too salty. So uh, then I'll hit it with some, uh, I'll, I'll let that marinate for two to three days in a Ziploc bag and then come out, you know, dry it off and then hit it with uh, a dry rub. And that's where I usually add the different seasonings and stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, let's see, let me check something here. Okay, I'll have to check that later. All right, uh, so yeah, that's a uh, tri tip, very good recipe. You guys should check it out. All right, maybe this is a little bit more heat. Go ahead and add this to the so yeah cheese cheese tortillas is what it is uh, thank you pickles you serve a barbecue milk beer <laughs> brand of all iced tea I make a when especially when I have like family coming over I make a big three gallon jug of iced tea and uh, that's one of them you know lemon lemonade also but uh, me on the grill, I'm, I'm gonna be drinking. <laughs> I'm gonna got some beer. Yeah, hey, thank you, Texas uh, Tex guy. Kenneth has a really good channel, Tex. Um, yeah, he does some really good barbecue, and uh, he's doing really good. He also has a second channel, so yeah. Trevor, Trevor, hey, good morning, Trevor. Uh, how do you feel about ceramic grills? I, I love them. Um, I, I I do plan on getting one later on down the road. Let me see, if does. Traditional shape, cook better. I think uh, 
Honestly, you know, honestly, I each each one's de, you know designed a certain way. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the, you know, like the Weber's and stuff like that. It's just that style of a uh, grill. But the main thing is, you know, the proper airflow and all that stuff. I haven't actually used a green egg. You know, I only right now I only have the uh, Weber kettle. Uh, I have my old yeller, which is it was a offset smoker that I just made into a big old. Uh, charcoal, you know, just a just a grill, a little popcorn grill, and then uh, I got a small little smoker that I need to get rid of. But uh, I've had a couple other grills back in the day. I have a gas grill. That's like my main one that I use. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, I haven't used the the, the green egg, but uh, I, I would like I like the design of it. I've seen how they are. Um, seems like the airflow does pretty good. So, but that's that's until later, you know. They gotta give it to me. <laughs> nah, I'll probably end up buying one later on. Once the uh, once this YouTube stuff does a little bit better, maybe I'm, I might buy one. Weber's a go for you. Well, I used to I used to say the same thing about char charcoal, but uh, I haven't really been liking. Actually, the new smoker that I bought, the char griller, that one, that one actually surprised me because the last offset smoker that I bought, it had just like the cheap racks you know for the grates and stuff um and, uh, whoa. wind 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 chill 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 i got my tv right here it'll just start flying all over the place um but yeah um the grates on it is cast iron which i actually love i might have to just up this heat up this should have been done already But um, yeah, that that new char griller, it's uh it's looking good, it, it, and it's pretty efficient on compared to my last offset smoker. My last offset smoker was a 48 inch barrel, so it was big. It took a lot of charcoal, took a lot of fuel to get it hot, you know, and then stay at a, you know once I got it there, it would stay at a certain um, uh, temperature and everything. But it did require a lot more fuel. This one, literally a half of a chimney and a couple wood chunks, and I'm, I'm set at 250, steady. And it bounces between 240 and 250, so this new offset smoker that I got is, is, is really kicking it. I'm loving it, but uh, I, I've already done, I did an initial burn, and then I did a, t a test cook on it, just to get an idea of, I mean, I, I totally just trashed the cook, but I mean, uh, I just got like an initial, you know, cook on it just to see how the temperatures are, how it's cooking and everything. And then the third time I fired it up, I actually did a cook on it, which that video is coming out Wednesday. All right, this thing is finally crisping up on me. Windy too, so that's kind of probably why. Let's see. Okay, pickles are playing. Let's see, I'm in no, I'm in the north. Okay. Yeah, if yeah, I have I have some friends that where it's like real snowy. Hey, you know what? Just get to cooking, man. Hey, the Weber kettle is actually a very very universal. You can smoke on it. You can grill on it. I mean, for a hundred and something bucks, you can't beat it. But uh, what's an egg like six, five, six hundred dollars? Uh, yeah, it just really, really, really depends on how much you're gonna plan on uh, be cooking, actually. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying, Trevor. Okay. Actually, um, yeah. I mean, just find the one that you think that's gonna. I don't think the Weber is expensive as the egg. Uh, so those are just factors that you just need to, you know, decide on what you're going to get. But uh, uh, from from the looks at it, uh, Steve from the Cookout Coach, he actually has the uh, the egg, and I watch him cook on it all the time. It looks fantastic. I do plan on getting one, like I said, um, but later on down the road. But it just really depends. The best thing to do is go down to the store and look them at, look at them side by side. 
they're both probably going to do pretty much the same but i'm pretty sure the, the the egg has a little bit better features when it comes to like smoking i think they have that ceramic um block that's actually right there that, that a lot of those things that are implemented into the egg is what you're paying for so that way you can get like those long cooks and uh things like that mega fred hey i already said it earlier cheers everybody shout out to mr mega fred zeppelin Now I'm starting to see some browning on, on this cheese. There, after after heating up the uh, the grill a little bit. Yeah, this one's ready to flip. You can flip it. <laughs> flip it good. Woo, cheesy tortillas. And I got a, uh, working on, let's see, you let your, uh, you know what, the only, Brenda, I, I, I wouldn't mind people cooking for me, <laughs> but no, unfortunately, I, I'm, I'm the one that does all the cooking. I, I do, I do 90% of the cooking, uh, when it comes to certain things, uh, but I, she's touched my Blackstone before, she's, uh, she's cooked on my Blackstone, um, not on the grill though yeah not on the grill maybe it's just not like her thing you know it's, i guess it's a guy thing you know they want to get out here and fire up the grill and everything but uh no she hasn't though uh let's see how... yeah definitely yeah definitely uh trevor mr make a friend that hey has anybody seen uh bill from chicken fried barbecue he went live yesterday and it was like stuck <laughs> Yeah, oh, uh, um, I got the, uh, the initial Punisher, uh, plug back out. All right. It's getting there, folks. It's getting there. We got the heat up. It's crisping up. My tortillas are looking good. Cheese tortillas. Keto, keto friends. But, my, I got some, uh, I should probably go get them. My little boy is awake. And he can use some tortillas. Okay. Well, okay. That idea came didn't happen. I thought my son would be hungry right now. Probably already ate uh, cereal. Make a friend. Let's see my hubby say. Uh, to to Brenda to to counterbalance that, let the let the charcoal cook a little bit hotter, uh, longer. Um, usually, usually when I get my my charcoal going, I'll uh, I'll wait a little bit extra so that way when I put it in the grill, it's not so aggressive. Uh, so that's just something to you know keep in mind. Tortillas, cheese tortillas. And if, if you hear the accent, you see that I'm Mexican. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Brenda, just uh, let your charcoal just uh, calm down a little bit. Uh, usually, when I, I usually use a chimney, a charcoal chimney, uh, I'll put it like about three quarters of the way. I'll light it. I'll let it go. At, once it's when it's aggressive you'll start noticing the flame above the the chimney you'll have like a pretty pretty good uh like a good length of, of flame going above the chimney uh, you want to let it just calm down to where it's barely coming over the top of the chimney so once it's about right there your your flame shouldn't be hot your, your flame shouldn't be high so that's just a little, little thing just to uh, keep in mind I got Rick good morning Rick I'm jealous of Rick. He has a beautiful uh, we uh, Santa Maria attachment for his Weber kettle. I've been wanting to. I seen Rob from uh, Barbecue Pit Dog with one. Uh, he he was the first one that I seen with it. And man, I I've been wanting that. I ended up getting the Weber kettle shortly after that. Okay, I ended up buying 
you know, all the accessories for my Weber kettle. I just have not gotten that that attachment. That was that was one of the, that was the reason why I bought my Weber kettle, is for that attachment right there. It is pricey though. It's like one hundred and eighty four dollars for that attachment. I've seen some knockoffs, so I think like about a hundred bucks. But I don't know the quality of it. But at least I know the the one that Rob has, and the one that uh, Rick has also. They look like good quality. But I know the one that Rob has is really good quality. So, I mean, that's just, you know, I'd rather buy quality than buy one of the little cheap knockoff ones. All right, just make one more tortilla for my wife. We're, we're both on the keto diet, so that actually helps. That actually helps. Let's see. Nice. I, I, I you know what? Fred, I'm gonna enjoy it before I, it starts getting hot. <laughs> yeah, like in July and June, it's about 100 and something degrees. It's not fun out here. All right. I was, I was thinking my son would want a taco, but uh, I guess not. All right. Was it uh, what did I say? Pitmaster fridge. <laughs> Good. I just need a uh, portable grill. Portable grill. Um. You know, I've, I've taken my Weber kettle every time we've gone somewhere. Yeah, because the Weber kettle is small. You know, I just put it in the back, back of the truck. Weber kettle is small enough to just haul around. They make smaller kettles, though. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, but I have the 22-inch. I take the, if I go to the park or camping or whatever. Like, my Blackstone, I, I have a camping coming up uh, pretty soon. So my Blackstone, I'm not taking. I might end up buying a small Blackstone just so I can have... You know the, the small 22 or 17 inch you know available for to make breakfast uh camping so uh, i'm definitely gonna be taking my weber kettle and uh i'll be taking a new uh blackstone that i'm gonna be purchasing i also have what's it called what's the what's i have like the name like on the tip of my tongue the main the coleman coleman i have a coleman uh stove grill uh that was like a hundred and something dollars but it has kind of like a grill set up, but it also has the burners, you know, so that way I could cook. I, you know, uh, you know, put like pots and pans and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be my three in a So that little can Coleman uh, stove, and then uh, a small Blackstone that I'm gonna be buying, and my Weber kettle. All right, uh, Mr. Stang, that's what I'm gonna call you. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't wanna make it sound like I'm saying saying the whole thing. But uh, Mr. Stang, good morning, brother. All right, almost, as soon as this starts to get a little crisp on the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and flip these, and I'm gonna be pre presenting you guys what we'll be eating. Welcome, Mr. Stang. Let's see, trip. Go along. Uh, Trevor, if you're using an offset, the good thing about an offset is you could keep your barrel closed when like there's there's like even like a vertical like my vertical smoker unfortunately how it's designed is if i open up the the the, the door i lose all the heat all the smoke and everything same thing with the weber kettle um if you open up that lid you're losing all your smoke all your heat all your moisture uh if you have any water pans in there you know just to add charcoal to it the offset on the other hand uh you can open up the wood box you know smoke box and you don't touch you you lose a little little bit of heat maybe like 10 15 degrees but not that much but uh uh you don't lose as much heat as you would as say you were to open the whole thing offset smoker uh it's, well i don't have it out right now it's in my garage but um an offset smoker is uh it's basically a big barrel uh tex you should know you're from texas <laughs> but it's got a big barrel and then you got a small little box right here on the side and that's you put your wood right here on one side and it just goes out and that's how you make a barbecue 
Let's see. But uh, yeah, if uh, it just really depends on what you're looking to cook for. Now, the offset smoker that I bought, it does have the stuff for the, uh, you know, to be able to grill. I'm not gonna use it for that. I'm gonna use that smoker just strictly for barbecue, you know, long cooks, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now, if anything like uh, fast cooks where I'm grilling up a steak or something like that, I'll do it on my Weber kettle. So it just really depends on what you want for. Has a Coleman Campers portable. I think that's what mine mine is, uh, Brenda. I don't know, it's been a while. It's been in the closet for like nine months. Some real deal barbacoa, huh? In the pit, Rick? Uh, if you tell me you did it in a pit, then, then that, that's the real deal right there. That's how my uncles used to do it. They used to make a big old pit. And uh, they, they would uh, make like a, I don't know how deep, but uh, they would have, they would have like an airflow in there. They had like a little chamber that went down there, but they would cover it up with dirt. But on the bottom of everything, it had charcoal. And those little chambers that they stuck in there, those are pretty much how it, like it would breathe. But talking about some really, really tender meat, uh, they've done that with goat, um, pig. Oh, pig comes out wonderful in, in a pit. Ooh, pig comes out wonderful. Beef cheeks. I'm just waiting on this last one to crisp up on the other side. But these are looking good. air dry just for a little bit let's see catch up on some comments as you say so I'm gonna keep them like this on my go ahead, we could go ahead and turn all this off so I'm gonna let that cheese just mold up right here that way it's gonna form like a taco shell actually it happens fairly fast <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and uh Easy clean up right here. That would have been one, that would have been a big pan right there. That would have been a separate uh, cast iron or something that I would have uh, done it on. Here, let me go ahead. A friend of Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, when they do those, when they do those long cooks, well, my family anyways, when they do those big cooks in, in a pit where it's like a goat or a, a, say a, a hog, you know, a big old hog, uh, it's, it's really like a, an event. You know, there's family coming over and, you know, a lot of stuff going on. But it's been some years that they've done it. Um, I want to say the last time they did it was ooh, probably, I want to say 10 years ago. But yeah, it's, it comes out good though. some of this grease off that's what that's what's so easy about this you can just easily just transfer it all to the back and just easy cleaning all right enough of uh black home sounds let's go ahead and set up Yeah, I seen that, uh, Rick. Yeah, I seen that you got an offset. That's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and move you over this way. Let's 
All right. Uh oh, dropping thing. Aha! Look at that, crispy. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add. I'll just do one. I'll do one. That way you guys can see it. Man, these are really, really crispy. Here, let me see. Let me show you. I literally. Yesterday when I made some, they were kind of like a, it was a little bit soft. This one was a. Uh, Now, we're gonna go ahead and add a little mixture here. So keep in mind, we got sausage, bacon, eggs, and then we got our cheese. Uh, let's see, let me move my camera this way. There we go. <laughs> It's a little difficult being a one-man crew. Trust me, it's a little difficult. All right. Now at this point, you can pretty much add whatever you want in there. You can add some lettuce. Uh, hey, is burning rubber in here? Hey, burning rubber. Good, good, good morning, brother. Welcome, my, uh, welcome, my friend. All right. So now we're gonna be adding some greens to it. What do you think? Cheese first? Press one in chat if you want to see cheese above the, the egg and meat. I'll get the cheese just in case. I'll let, I'll let you guys see. If you guys want to see cheese on top of it, I mean, it's already got cheese on it. No ones yet? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and add it. Ah, there's a one, there's a one. All right, so we'll go ahead and add it. All right, so a little bit of uh, Monterey Jack cheese here. Now, something that I truly love, and I gotta have this on every taco. Some pico de gallo. Very, very simple. It's a small, uh, a half of a uh, medium to a small purple onion, about a cup of chopped cilantro, and two Roma tomatoes. That's it. It adds really, really good freshness. If you really want to take it up to the top, and, and, and you don't want to add anything else to it, and you just want to use pico, add a little bit of lemon juice, or lime juice, and add some salt and pepper. You're good. Like, literally, you can do so much with that. All right, folks. Drum roll, please. I don't know if you can see it. This uh, lighting is a little strong. I'm gonna work on that next next time I go live. Um, kind of just caught caught it like last minute, you know, it was like so bright. But yeah, I'll definitely work on that next time. But yeah, folks, that is it, y'all. Ooh, look at that. That fresh pico. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're not done. Hold up. We're not done. Let me see. Haha. -ha. You really thought we were done, huh? How can you have a taco and not have salsa? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Homemade salsa. Salsa, salsa rojo. All right. Freshly made today. I actually have another batch inside, so keep that in mind. Uh, I eat a lot of salsa around here. Now, folks, I would say this taco, this breakfast taco, is complete. Got the salsa, you got the bacon, the sausage, the egg, the pico de gallo, some Monterey Jack cheese with that wonky cheese tortilla. But instead of using the keto recipe like I do, 
you can just use regular tortilla flour or corn corn is best uh, I love me some corn tortilla so yeah uh, I have not Brenda but I can uh, skewers yeah I can I can see uh, what have I come with I think I have one kebab or actually I got I did a uh, some Cajun shrimp skewers um, on my gas grill, Brenda. So yeah, that was uh oh yeah, close up. Yeah, these uh. Let me see if this is gonna do any justice for me. I can't really see. Mm, no. So yeah, I like it where you have your meats showing on the bottom and you see like the next ingredient then the next ingredient then the next ingredient then the toppings that's how, I, that's how I've always done my tacos okay, let me move this up a little bit more so. um, yeah that's how, that's how I like my, I, I'm, I'm pretty when tacos, sandwiches, hamburgers I'm OCD I have an OCD on how they look you know they gotta look a certain way. They gotta look nice. I'm, I'm not. There's times where I'm, I'm just cooking for dinner. You know, I'm just cooking for dinner, and I'm sitting there messing with a hamburger on how it looks. You guys want to buy it, huh? All right, folks. Cheers, everybody. I'm good right there. And it's keto friendly. Low carb. But yeah, I'm also going to be. Um, I have to eat fiber before I start eating like a lot of fat, like and taking a lot of fat. So that's just the way my diet is. Hi, Misty. Good morning. Welcome. Um, so yeah, I try to eat a little bit of vegetables first and then I'll intake, you know, my big things of. of uh, of, uh, you know, the fat and protein and stuff like that. Um, as far as, like, tacos goes, I'm going to be sharing with you guys pretty soon. Uh, I'm going to do a, a video on making authentic carne asada. Carne, or like, let me explain a little bit about carne asada. In Spanish, I mean, if you don't know Spanish, carne, carne para asar is meat to grill. That's what it means in English. Carne para asar. Uh, it's, it's just meat to grill. There's so many different ways on how people consider carne asada, carne asada, okay? Um, some of the recipes I, I've seen, I don't like them. I, I'm pretty, you know, now, now I understand why people, uh, I get a lot of uh, negative, not negative, I can't really say, just, I get a lot of like, that's not traditional. Uh, some of the foods that I do, especially when it's like Asian, I've gotten some comments like that before. I get it, and, and I'm the same way when it comes to Mexican food. <laughs> but yeah, there's some there's some videos that I've seen where they make carne asada and they add olive oil. Why are they adding olive oil? That's not how it's done. Now, if if you're gonna get any good advice from someone that's gonna show you how to make carne asada, I think I would probably be the best candidate because I do live 30 minutes away from Mexico. I mean, my city carne asada sells. At the local stores, they sell like that on Fridays. That's what everybody cooks out here. Carne asada, chicken asada. So I'm going to be making that video pretty soon. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to be putting a lot of work into it. And it's going to be something that I'm going to take some time on it, though. But I want it to be a really good video. So, um, But along with that, like some of the other recipes, you know, I'm, I'm just still working on some other ones. But, uh, you know, I hope, I hope that, that carne asada video... It might be a little controversial. I don't. I don't want it to be controversial. I just want it to be a good recipe video. But I just wanted people to enjoy it. And actually, it's coming from, you know, ideas from local people. Um, for many, many years, I used to sell tacos. You know, for a catering uh, place. Um, I used to sell, um, you know, tacos, and I would marinate the meat. So that's why I know this is like my recipe. We sell. 200 and something tacos an hour at this taco spot. They, like the marinade was bomb. I put a lot of attention into this marinade. And where I came across the marinade, I took a little bit of from one guy, 
little bit from one guy, you know, out there in Mexico. I would ask the people, even the people that serve you up tacos at these taco stands, I would get some of that information from them. And they would, oh yeah, this is what we use, and okay. So now, so like, I just basically married everything together to make it delicious, you know, mar marinade for carne asada. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my live stream today. I mean, it was it's weird being, it's just different, you know. I've been just doing videos for the past six months, so it's a little different interacting with, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Rick, gotta have radishes. Radishes and uh, grilled onions, green onions, grilled green onions, you gotta have grilled green onions. No matter how you do it, I'm gonna show you guys different ways in that video, though. Um, a good pico de gallo. Some ca and you know a lot of people on you know cabbage is really good on tacos and they actually served cabbage chopped cabbage at the taco shops here. You know I, I had a crazy comment uh, I want to say about a year ago. I think it was my chicken video, chicken taco video, and uh, they said you don't put cabbage on on a taco, stupid. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> but uh, hey, uh, Cameron, hey, thank you, buddy. Thanks for coming in. So yeah, you know what? Uh, I, probably in about two weeks, I'm gonna go live. And also, too, one of the some of, some of the things I wanted to talk about, uh, I I, I kind of wanna, I don't know, like a name for everybody. I don't know, like a, a fat pants squad or something like that. That's what I was thinking, but I don't know. I'm gonna put a uh, post in the uh, community community tab that way we could come up with a, a nickname for everybody. You know like a little squad or a little crew and uh that way it's you know something that everybody creates not just something that i come up with so i mean as you can see the get the fat pants that was created by you guys like literally this saying right here the, i don't know if you can see it yeah get your fat pants on that was created by you guys so yeah i you know i just want to I, I thought that was really cool i never intended on you know taking the slogan i had an apron and just said get your stretchy pants ready i, I believe that's what it was that was a throwback that was a throwback for, uh, apron. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, you guys created the fat pants. Get your fat pants on. So, yeah, that's that's that's, that's what we rocking. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll let you guys decide. You guys pick. You know, you guys created the get your fat pants on. So, yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys create the squad name. So, I'll, I'll post it up uh, Monday. I'll post it up. That way everybody can see it from right here. You know, after the live and everything. If you're watching, you know, throughout the, during the live, you know afterwards you know just uh, keep that in mind I'll, leave, I'll be putting it out there and yeah actually uh, text guy um, I do have a website cooking with Kirby com but I, I have some aprons uh, this one's already yeah so see I have to buy 10 to get them screen printed um, so that's what that's what I'm doing right now this one's just a little little sticker stuff on there so yeah I need a new one so I'm actually gonna be ordering some uh, but hold off on buying them right now because I am going to be giving some away. So next probably live streams or two, I'll probably be doing a giveaway for with my apron. That way, you know, whoever whoever wins that's in that live stream, it's just going to be an exclusive live stream that you'll be able to get the, the apron. So, uh, yeah, so keep that in mind. Uh, so if you see the post for the next live stream or two, you know, just make sure you jump in because I'm going to be giving at least one or two um, aprons away. So yeah, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me see, how do these taste with some salsa? Ooh, yeah. Oh, not a bad idea. I haven't had chips and salsa in like two weeks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. Next time, it'll probably be in about two weeks. I'll post when. Um, hopefully, I can situate this uh, lighting issue a little bit better. Um, that way, you get a little bit more clearer video. I don't know how it looks. I might have to go back in the feedback or you know in the, in the live feed, and check it out. But uh, yeah, next live stream or next live stream or two, whenever I get them, they're they're already ordered. It takes them like ten days to to get made. So I might have them by next stream. But for sure, the next stream after that, I should have some aprons. So, yeah, keep that in mind. You know, get in there and uh, see if you can win the signature. Get your fat pants on apron. So, I'm going to cut it off here. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank you all. To all my new subscribers. I mean, not even subscribers. I, I consider you guys family. 
that's what we're building here. We're building a family. And um, new family members, older family members, the old farts, <laughs> pickles. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, I just want to thank you all. Uh, this is a really fun journey that I'm, I'm going on. And uh, I can't make it happen without you guys. Seriously. Uh, so, uh, you guys have a great weekend. Rest, rest of your weekend, anyway. Have a great rest of your weekend. Be safe. And uh, cook some good food. That's all I can say. I got a lot going on today, so. But yeah. So, thank you so much. Take care, y'all. Bye. Time to go eat.